different kind of look. And see how the two compare. Okay. Oh, Splash Paints is an airbrush-ready lacquer paint, also available at New Type, a reliable and international source of gumpla. Purchasing at newtypehq.com slash frostedsnow also helps support me with a small commission. This is the SH Studio PG Goof Flight Type Conversion Kit for the Bandai PG Zaku. You do need the Bandai kit to complete it. There's a front-facing and back-facing box, but they're pretty much the same. I think it's just to have a different kind of look. So this is in the box with the bigger set of stuff. Here are the cables. I might not be using these because I saw a review that there aren't really enough of the beads to make it look good. But it's nice that they gave this to us. And these are the huge parts. My like, shoes. <laughs> this is almost the size of my hand. These are just humongous. Never seen a resin kit with feet this huge. Oh, so detailed. Yeah. These are really huge parts and it's a really heavy kit. This looks like mostly outer armor. The panel lines are pretty defined. So the quality is quite good. Cookie says you should look at the circle and see how defined they are. So these are pretty good circles. So that's it for the first box. And there are some plastic parts and one of the parts fell off. Oh, you know, right here. When I had opened the kit, one of the parts fell off the runner. Remember, this is the PG conversion kit for the Zaku, so I'm guessing these are some parts that need to replace the Zaku um, inner frame or extra parts for it. This is a set for the smaller parts. There's actually a lot of them, and doing a parts check was a killer. And I just used a marker and I marked the packs that I checked blue. And so they give you two options. They give you the resin cable or you can use the metal cable. I'm probably going to be using these because they're just spaced out more nicely. These are like, I mean, really good quality. So the how defined that is. They protected some of the parts of the inner frame that was too thin. There are some LEDs that come with the kit. They're pretty much like scratch LEDs, so nothing has been done for you. So it's going to be um, <laughs> a bit of work connecting them. And some nails. It's not really common to see in a resin kit. The last set of parts. I mean, look at this kind of detail. This kit actually doesn't have a lot of smaller inner frame, these type of details, like pipes. This is one of the only part really with this type of detail, which I really like this kind of detail. Even these parts are really quite huge. Okay, the manual comes with a really nice matte finish manual. This is an SH Studio kit. Nice sample shots. And I did a parts check already, you can see. So these are all the parts of the original Zaku kit. This was the uh, plastic parts, LED, LED. You have to do all of this yourself. And the decals, which we'll see here, comes with a set of decals. Okay, they look okay. And it came with some stickers, so that's cool. As a comparison, here is the PG Goof conversion, and this one is Cookies, and this one is mine. This is an older kit that he bought off of Taobao, and I don't know why this art box is so saturated, but the sizes of the boxes are about the same. So let's also take a look at the Goof and see how the two compare. You can tell that the manual of this is already not as good as the Goof Flight type because this is an older kit. It's pretty typical of a resin manual. Cookies already done a parts check. This 
kit uh, looks relatively more simple. I mean, there's only one box of parts. We've got the sword here, some clear parts, the Neo Zeon logo. It's really nice that they give you this because they usually don't and you have to use the Bandai spare parts which was what I did for my SD Jesta. A lot of the outer armor parts, also good quality. The size of the, sh the shield is also about the size of my hands. When I'm looking at this closely, it looks slightly inferior to the goof flight type. I can see, for example, I mean, this doesn't matter, but this here, the imperfection here, and there's a little bit of that here and there, a little bit of imperfection inside of the circle part. But otherwise, for a resin kit, this is still a really clean kit. But it looks like there's a lot more detail inside of this kit. It has those details inside of the armor that I mentioned don't exist in the Goof Flight type. Some smaller parts. I recognize a lot of these parts are actually the same as what came in the Goof Flight type when I was doing the parts count check. Like this looks the same. Pretty much everything in here looks the same. And some cables. Great. I love metal parts. Okay. Look at these spikes on the shoulder. That's really cool. Here are the feet. It seems like they're about the same size as the Goof Fly type, but they look they just look a bit smaller because they're um, cut in half. So they're probably really about this big. Here is just a huge chunk of resin. Like this whole piece is so heavy. Whereas with the um, flight type, there aren't any chunks of resin. They just separate this into two different parts and it's hollow. So that's better because you don't really want the kit to be so heavy. There's the spike, the round spike. Take a closer look. Head. some extra metal thruster parts. This month I also bought a resin SD kit. This is the Absolus. This is actually a kit that I've had my eye on for a while. I keep telling Cookie I think it looks like a dumpling, like a mandu. We got this off of a secondhand website that Cookie often buys from. And wow, this manual is in Korean. And this is a really interesting resin color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really yellow. Looks like the color of P, to be honest. So this is the main um, outer part. And isn't it so cute? Like, it really looks like a piece of dumpling. Good, clean details. I mean, nowadays, most resin kits, they really come out quite well. Love this. It's just so cute. Okay. Really clean. This resin is um, quite hard, so it's not really a super bendy resin. That'll be good to work with. It'll be uh, nice and strong. Interesting, it's got some parts like in a Bandai kit, these connection point parts. So cool. This will be at the base, the logo. We're gonna have a staycation. Just gonna run some errands in the city and stay at a hotel for one night. Wow, yeah! Wow, pit 엄청 세다. We are lost. Doom game. Wow. Wow, carpet. So good. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Oh, view. View room. Yeah, it's very 
야. 아침도 주고. 야. 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 그렇구나. 난 그냥 늘 먹던 거 그냥 맛대. 맛대 부터 팩. This is a hand drip coffee. I'm going to neighbor hobby Korea. 해버 쇼핑, 가텐 드릴, 프라피스, 그 다음에 this is drill, this is cheap, but uh, 가텐 드릴 very expensive, but this forest snow like, mm, okay, mm. thank you. Many people. Yeah, but we have to wait because it's a pretty famous ramen place. Oh. In Hongdae. Oh, okay, okay. And it's Friday night, so that's why there's a lineup. Okay. Oh, 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 잘 추네. 음? Cookie's gonna have this one with the dumplings, and I'm gonna get this one with the chicken. 이거 많이 먹을 수 있어. 음. 어머, 많이 넣네. 맛있겠다. 우리 치킨 못 먹어가지고. Oh, Cookie, you're such a big eater. Oh my god. Wow. So hungry. Oh, my, my, my. oh, my. So good. We're taking a walk in the park. Show them the park, Cookie. So cold already. Yeah. I'm going to cafe. Okay, cookie like cafe. Okay. This way is uh, Hongdae Main Street. Okay, Koki, finish your day. How was your day? Oh, I'm so tired. We're gonna go home now, okay? Oh. Got the paints, the splash paints. Oh. Okay, I see. Yeah, we came home and we just got the paints on our doorstep. So we'll check this out. Okay? Mm.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is all the stuff that we bought. Cookie bought some wires for his resin kits. This is a two point. Four around and a 3.2 millimeters. Lots of people ask like he wanted thick ones for his heavier resin kits. He also bought some what these are called plastic beams by Style X and you can see the sizes here. He's gonna use this for detail up parts. LEDs for his new Gundam head because he wanted them to be brighter. The ones that came with the kit he feels like are a bit dull. He also bought some small drill heads. We need some because he loses some of them. They're so small and easy to lose. So Style X is a pretty cheap brand. These are just about 10 bucks, 10,000 won. So that'll be good to drill in parts for little beads or whatever. And this is something he actually bought for me is I've been wanting this for a long time. This is super expensive. I actually felt kind of like, oh, like he spent a lot of money um, and he didn't really have to buy it. But basically it's after you drill, you use a regular drill. And this is saying, I think that it leaves a kind of pointy finish. What this does is flatten out the detail part or you can put an etching part into this. And this is God hand obviously so that's why it's so expensive. I think he said it was around 30 bucks. These are two clamps. They're gonna be clamps to put up a black background for shots. So I'm gonna clamp it onto our curtain rail. There's two different kinds of clamps. So this one is just like, it's gonna be really tight, but you can also use this when you glue parts together. Ow. This provides the pressure that you might need. This is a, another kind of clamp, but it's a bit different because it stabilizes this way, but it doesn't put as, as much pressure. Cookie bought this. We bought it from an art store in Korea. I just saw these stickers and they were so cute. It has nothing to do with Gunpla. I just love the gothic lolita style. I don't know, decorate something with it. Okay, very excited. Um, it actually came really fast after it shipped. I thought it would take a really long time. I think this came from the States. After, wow, this is really well packed. And this is a sponsored product, although I'm not paid to, you know, do anything. I'm gonna do a review of it, or at least we're gonna use it in one of our um, paint jobs. I give you an honest opinion about how we feel about the paints. Mm. Oh, this is so well packed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you got that up. I'm gonna open two of them and Cookie's gonna open one just for fun. <gasps> oh, there's so many. What is this? They sent us so many. Light gray surfacer. Cookie, you want a surfacer? Oh, surfacer. Oh, urethane catalyst. What is this? Oh, it's urethane gloss, I think. Gloss? This one, gloss clear. Mecha Char Red. And Mecha Char Pink. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna open one more and then Cookie's gonna open the other one. Oh my god. Oh, so many colors. Mecca purple. Oh, Mecca so. Zeon gray. Mecca yellow. Mecca light blue. Mecca S red. This one? Yeah. Okay, Mecca D green. Mecca green. green. Mecca white. Mecca blue. I don't Mecca want to on to gray. On to gray. Gonna give all these paints a try and let you know how they are once I get a chance to test them out. Fresh paint, thank you. Okay. So much. Hi. 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 Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Hi everyone. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. bye bye. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my awesome videos.